Hi guys and welcome to the daily trade number two sponsored by binarytrading.tv Now in well, while I was recording this I actually forgot to turn on my microphone volume and this is why I'm now recording it after the fact that I recorded it uh, where I recorded the video really um, so if if every everything comes a bit behind uh, I hope <laughs> you uh, don't mind and uh, because I didn't want to um, I didn't want to start recording all over again and um, so I'm just gonna record the voice afterwards now basically what I think I'm saying here is that I'm <laughs> seeing 70% and 30% um, you can see that the the yellow line is is really low so it in the past hour it, it hasn't touched it hasn't even touched the the chart so um, I'm making an investment here uh, for the end of day again I, I do like to trade the end of day um, because it is um, sometimes a bit safer especially when you see a big dip like this um, end of day is is a really nice thing to do um, this is actually harder than um, while I'm recording it. it it is quite hard to, to remember what I said um, <laughs> Unfortunately, we will we will uh, make sure that in the next videos, in the next couple of days, we will make sure our volume is turned up all the way, and you guys can hear me. Um, now, as you can see, I did make a few trades before I actually got started um, recording. I did make a trade. I, I was trading the Euro USD. Uh, no, sorry, the USD Japan. And right now, it does seem to not be in the money no it is right now it just went into the money uh, right now I'm making another trade on euro USD uh, because there's only eight minutes and 23 seconds left to trade and as you can see it really made a jump up there so I think does that one will be good uh, I well I know for sure that one will be good because I just recorded it um, yeah hopefully um, this is quite hard actually I hope um, I don't remember doing um I'm seeing here three trades so uh, they're all in the all in the green so good right maybe oh yeah here I'm explaining there was a 70% up and you can see the yellow line um the yellow line is where where the where the is where the where the price is at at the moment um it hasn't been anywhere near um the rest of the the prices of the day uh, of the last hour so it's a good thing to trade uh, when, when you see this together with a um, with a popularity call in the opposite direction of, of where the yellow line is, is 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 a good trade I mean that that would probably make make a win um, right now you can see me make another trade on it and hopefully that one will work out as well um, Let's see what else did I talk about. Um, yeah, you can see it, like yesterday I made four trades, and today I'll, I, I will be making. Uh, I made four trades again just to show you guys. Um, now, um, you don't want to trade too big, especially in the beginning. Uh, it is. It isn't. It isn't very easy to do um, to learn uh, binary options. Unfortunately, well, you can learn it with a demo account. You can always try uh, a demo account, which is where they give you a little bit of money, and you can start trading with it and see what happens. Um, I am saying here, there's six minutes left, and so maybe time to go to the Option Pro. Oh no, I, I'm I'm actually talking about. <laughs> What else you can trade at um, Trade Rush? So um, the types of the types of uh, assets you can trade. So the hot assets is where what the ones being traded the most. And basically for ev for your if if you're a beginner, it's a good way to start. I mean the, these are w these will be the ones having the most uh, popularity difference uh, up or down. So that's a good um, that's a good way to to, to start um, trading. Now then we see the commodities. Commodities of focus it has the oil, the uh, the gold, the sugar, the wheat, the gold versus euro, the corn and the silver. 
and then we have currencies in currencies we of course have euro usd usd versus japan usd euro usd euro uh, british pound and many others um the indices indices sorry uh you have um tax future tax uh, you have Nasdaq, you have uh, FTSE 100, you have the IBEX, um, IBEX Future, the CAC, the Tel Aviv 25, and many others, of course. And stocks. Now, stocks, you have... Um, Stocks you have a, a, a trade rush has a lot of stocks you can trade as well. Now stocks are good to trade when, for example, you have um, when when you know uh, stocks normally uh, are are very not not so very volatile. Um, but when when you have something um, big happening, like like I, for example, Apple, the Apple stock, when. when um, when they announce that they're going to bring out a new iPhone or they're going to bring out the iPad. The iPad mini might be something you want to look at um, because when they're going to bring that out, the iPad mini, I don't think everybody's waiting for an iPad mini. Steve Jobs was always really against it. So when they announce that they're going to bring out the iPad mini, um, Apple stock might drop a little. So that's uh, that's something to keep in mind for the future. Um, it was on the news yesterday. I actually saw it on TV already, so it, it might already make a difference. Um, so here we're going back uh, into the Option Pro, and we're going to have a look at the Euro J Japan. Um, well, basically, you can see here there's three minutes and 25 seconds left. Uh, we are all in the green. Uh, one, the oil, uh, one for one o'clock seems to be jumping up and down. A little bit, um, but we we should we should be okay. Most of our trades today are are in the green, so we should be fine. What I'm showing you now here is that um, you can actually change the graph on the Option Pro, and it makes it a little bit easier to see what happened in the past and to see whether the stock uh, today is went up or uh, from the morning. See if it went up or not. Um, now, yeah, that's what I'm showing you right here. You can go back one hour or you can go back five hours. Um, yeah, that's basically what I'm showing you here. But um, as you can see, the, the, the US dollar versus Japanese um, yen. Sorry, I don't know what's happening today. Um, it... it, it um, it looks good. We have a few minutes left, and um, hopefully, um, it will become a, a, a winner. Now, I'm pretty sure that this. Yeah, it, it, what I'm explaining here is that when you see differences in between my balance, I do trade off of camera, guys. Um, I don't always. Um, trade when I'm when I'm recording because I mean um, th I, this is this is my living I, I do this for a living so when 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 you see me have a different balance and hopefully you'll see it next time I have more money in my bank than uh, and than before uh, if you do see that uh, it does mean because it, it is because I'm trading off camera um, with a bit more non non risky strategies um, for example, the market pull, uh, straddle, straddle strategy, the market pull. Uh, market pull is one of my favorites. Um, the reason why is, um, and I and I do explain it uh, a little bit further. Um, why why market pull is one of my my favorite ones? You can you can uh, you can really see it. For example. Um, I, I think I'll show you in a little bit further in the video, but I, I have like um, 40 seconds left of um, recording. That was without um, without voice, and then then I finally noticed that um, <laughs> that yeah that my um, my microphone wasn't on. So 
what I'm showing you here, I think, is that we are really good to go. Oh, that was what I bought in. So as you can see here, guys, I, I'm showing you that um, I have 170 in total current payout, and my initial investment was 100 bucks. So I made 70 bucks, 70 bucks in uh, in about 10, 15 minutes. It's not too bad. But now I'm gonna yeah. let it go because I think I seen that my uh. Yeah, I've now so finally noticed that my everything microphone was off. So yeah, so we saw that these two trades were. Talk to you later, guys. So bye now bye. I can go and show you guys. My balance will get updated in about in a few seconds. My balance will get updated automatically. But I was gonna show you gold and silver. Now can you see here the the I was talking about the market pull. Can you see here the same the same same movement? Now of course it's not hundred percent the same, but um but yeah you can you can see the yeah, not the differences, uh you can see the yeah, equalities between between these two assets really like I mean the enormous drop here of the gold and you can see here the enormous drop of the silver as well so that's called a market pull uh, market pull is um, where one asset pulls down the other one with it and um, yeah I'm just seeing that um, my sound wasn't on <laughs> uh, and I just turned it on so I'm hoping that the first half of this um, first half te first 10 minutes of this video will actually be okay so let's hope otherwise I will have to record over it and um, see what happens but we will continue right now because I don't want to start all over again um, we have one more trade to go and uh, there's around yeah, there's around 15 minutes left on this trade and um, let's see let's see what happens 15 minutes and that's a bit long actually I think I might cut off here and for all you guys I'm, I'm happy you was watching um, if you like the videos uh, please subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments what you think of these videos uh, if there's anything you want me to change or the way I talk or the way I talk to you guys or um, if you want to be included in videos or you want to have a say, uh, you want anything you want, you can always leave it in the comments. I will read my comments. And and again, this is this was the second daily trade session um, sponsored by BinaryTrading.tv. If you do like this these videos, please like them, comment, whatever. Um, tell your friends, tell your family. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.